praying. Please let us remember to continue to pray for, continue to pray for Sister Virginia Reed. And also uh, pray for Sister Veronica Wolfe. And also pray for Sister Rose. Amen. Are there any other unspoken prayer requests? You can make them known by raising your hand. God is time. Let's talk about him to pray. Mm -hmm. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you all for this opportunity, Lord, to come to your throne of grace, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you all for blessing us, Lord, to gather together in faith and worship just one more time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the one message in your precious name and the input of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, I ask, Lord, since when all these prayer requests have been submitted before you, Lord, touch and move each and every one of them according to your will, Lord Jesus. Lord, when I ask, Lord, 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 I also ask you, Lord, to open up our hearts and may receive your word. Lord, let your word follow for good friends, Lord, and take root in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen.
And at this time, we're going to praise the Lord with our giving. So we ask Minister Allen to usher us to come to help us receive this evening's offer. And while we're preparing our hearts to give, please remember, coming up on the 29th of uh, October is our uh, church's Hallelujah Night. So, and there's still time for you to donate candy and, uh, and, uh, and monetary, uh, and also uh, monetary uh, gifts to to the Halloween night effort. Amen. Remember that this is for all kids, young and old. Amen. And if you uh, can, please come out and help uh, with the Halloween night. Amen. Amen. And also, coming up on the uh, coming up on the 6th of November, but the uh, order forms is already in, uh, in the foyer that uh, the church, the missionary department is uh, selling sack lunches to go. Seven dollars a piece, seven dollars a, a, a lunch, amen. And this money goes to help out our, our missionaries overseas, amen. And remember that you get a, uh, a sandwich, chips, cookies, and a drink. And then, like I said, the order form is uh, is on um, the, the foyer outside, amen. And, uh, the order attack, the time of order is from the, the 16th of October through the 2nd of November, amen. That be all the uh, announcements. Let's all let's all just be blessed. Be all. Father, we're thankful again to be in your presence and to have the privilege of giving this offering we have. We receive it, Lord, as we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen.
That's it, just kind of bask in the presence of the Lord. You got the Holy Ghost, why don't you begin to worship in tongues or pray in tongues? Hallelujah, let the Spirit of the Lord settle on you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, that's why we're here. We're here to give you glory, God. We're here to worship you, Lord Jesus. We're here, Lord, to bind all distractions, God, and to look to you, Lord, the author and finisher of our faith, O oh God. We're thankful for what you've been doing in our lives, God. Thankful for the strength to make it out to the house of God. One more time, O oh God. Thankful, Lord, to give you our undivided attention tonight, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we praise your name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Amen. Would you do it? Would you clap your hands? As the psalmist said, all you people. Hallelujah. Would you shout out to God with the voice of triumph? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Has the Lord been good to anybody here? Amen. I know he has. He got us up this morning. I know that's just sometimes cliche, but thank God he got us up this morning. Amen. Be able to go to work. Everybody been to work today. Praise yeah, God. Amen. Learned a living today. Amen. Yeah. And we're thankful for that. The Lord blessed us to be able to go clock in and clock out. Amen. Gave us what we need to pay our bills today. Amen. The scripture says he'll give us our daily bread. Aren't you thankful yeah. for daily bread? Yeah. Amen. That's daily provision. And I'm thankful today for the provision of God. Amen. That he's given. Anybody ate yet? Just a couple of you. Amen. Well, you're probably going to eat here a little later. Amen. But we're thankful that God gave us daily. Anybody thankful for the daily rations that we get from the Lord? Amen. Praise God. Amen. The Lord is good to us. And so we're very thankful for that. Amen. Uh, uh, the little things matter, don't they? Amen. The little things matter. So we're going to really uh, solicit a couple of testimonies here tonight. Amen. And we know there's a couple of you that uh, is excited to give a testimony here. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Go ahead and stand up, all of you that's ready to give a testimony. Look at here. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Go ahead, sister. Walking and everything, 
I just thank the Lord, you know, because I am walking. I know I am. I'm walking slow, Amen. but I am walking. Amen. And it's going to get better and better in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It should be it's all right. Amen. Can we get a couple of ladies just to go ahead and get close to her right now? And let's just Amen. pray for her right now. Amen. 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 The Lord, Amen. Is able to help and guide the hands of every uh, doctor and nurse, or whatever the case may be. So let's pray together. Would you lift your voices together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father? We look to you tonight in thanksgiving, God. Thanksgiving, Lord, for you guiding the hands of every doctor, every nurse, God. That you'd be, Lord Jesus, with Sister Woku, Lord God. We take authority over fear. We bind and pray against it now. And we pray that your faith and confidence would rest. Let the peace of God be upon her, O oh God, in the morning should you tarry. Lord God, we give you praise for this, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for helping her through this procedure in Jesus' name. Amen. Would you clap your hands and thank the Lord. Amen. Would you just give a good praise? Worship him. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Identity. 
Yes, Lord. By rescuing them from Egypt. Uh -huh. God has given each and every one of us a new identity. I thank God for that new identity. Amen. The adversary does not like that. Amen. Because, amen, now we are the real worshipers. We are the ones that can rest in his presence. He no longer can rest in the presence of the Lord. We have been, he has been replaced. Why was Moses afraid? The land was dangerous. He knew there would be battles. And the Israelites had already revealed some irregularities of their faith. This is even real today. If we're honest with ourselves, we have irregularities in our faith. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. That's why it's so important, amen, to learn how to rest in his presence. Yes. Because in his presence, amen, we can receive power. Yes. Amen. If we rest in his presence. The Lord responded to Moses with the word, words in tonight verse, that he would go with them. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. And he said, and I'll give them rest. Give them rest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm reminded, amen, when Solomon built the temple uh -huh. and how the Shekinah glory came in after they had made sacrifices unto the Lord. You see, even in the very beginning, amen, God's will was to be in the presence of mankind. Yes. Yeah. And I, it's so sad that people don't want to acknowledge his presence. Right. That's right. You see, in the Old Testament, amen, we can see his presence in the holies of holies. Yes. That was considered to be a sacred place. And now, there's a sacred place now, here, tonight. There's a dwelling place where the presence of the Lord is dwelling. That's why we shouldn't be confused. We shouldn't be afraid. Because we have the presence of a holy God on the inside. When you clap your hands unto the Lord, we have the presence of a holy God on the inside. We can have rest when we're afraid. We can have rest when we're facing difficulties. Uh, it's so important to realize the Lord has equipped us with rest in his presence. The Lord had promised the same thing for us today. He gave us rest. There are times in our walk with God we are up against various different challenges in life. But we must remind ourselves, amen, it was God's ultimate plan to be in our presence. From the very beginning, it was God's ultimate plan to dwell in us. I thank God for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Because with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that is Christ on the inside. Yes. Will you clap your hands in the Lord and be talking to other people? We are so sad Oh, the presence of the Lord. And then there's fear. We all face 
different types of fear. Sister testified, testified tonight, amen, about a little fear. Amen. Fear antidote to fear is faith. That's the antidote to fear. Having no doubt that God is with us at all times. Sister yeah. Wohoo, yeah. you can rest in the Lord tomorrow morning because he's there with you. Will you clap your hands? You can rest in the Lord. Everything's going to be all right. The Lord knows that his presence has the power yeah. to silence fear. Our problem is when we come up against something difficult or trouble come our way, we're trying to fix it all by ourselves. Yeah. And all we have to do is enter into the presence of the Lord, and the Lord can give us rest over any fear. We clap your hands in the Lord. The Lord can give you rest. When we become confident that the Lord is with us, we do not mm, have to be afraid of anything. Because the Lord is all powerful and loving. You lose one job, God can give you rest for the other job. Yes, yes. Hello. Praise God. You see, we think about the rest of the Lord bringing silence to any fear that we have to deal with. The next time that you're confronted with a difficult situation, I want you to take time out Take the scripture out of the Bible and read it. And I will, after that, I want you to enter into his presence. And I guarantee that you'll start feeling better over the situation. And God will remove all the fear. Not only that, he'll take you in the problem. When you clap your hands to the Lord, and pray. Our problem is we don't acknowledge his presence. Yeah. God's love. He loves us more than we could ever imagine. Nothing would ever take away or call that into question God's love for humanity. You see, they thought they nailed him to the cross. It was God's love that hung him there. He committed his love towards us while we were yet sinners. There was no fear at the cross. He was the mighty God. He could have called thousands, legions of angels down to even rescue. Yeah. It's amazing, amen. When they crucified him, they really didn't recognize that he was the almighty God. You see, when we think about Jesus and what the Lord done in the three-year ministry, what the Lord wanted to bring to humanity for humanity to actually recognize his presence. Because in him was God's character. When 
when you feel with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking other tongues, as the Spirit of God you know, utters. What is your DNA now? Hmm. It came by what? The blood. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? As long as you start living for God and doing right, you will start acting like Jesus. Will you clap again? Amen. Amen. You will start thinking like Jesus. God cares for us in difficult times. Hello. As for Moses, he was facing impossible. He was about to take, amen, a wandering trap and to battle against ancient powerful cities. No wonder he was When he, he brought the people out of Egypt, he was afraid. Now, he has a greater challenge before him. But the Lord helped him in that situation to realize, amen, that his presence was with them. Notice what the text said. Resting in his presence. In other words, the Lord said he would go with them. When you walk into your job, the Lord walks in there with you. When you get in your automobile, the Lord's there with you. You can acknowledge his presence, folks. Give the Lord a wave off. Acknowledge he's right here. Come on. He's right here. Can you worship him right now? Acknowledge him right now. He tell you to up. Something can happen in a supernatural way. And we begin to rest in his presence tonight. Somebody rest in his presence right now. You can receive a miracle tonight if you just simply rest in his presence. He can't get to a holy yama, can't get to a back. Shut up, oh, could he have a God resting in his presence? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes. The second thing is Jesus made a way for sinners to come into the presence by providing one sacrifice. That was perfect. That was him. He made a way for us not only to enter into his presence, we enter into his presence by the blood. Yeah. You repent of your sins, get baptized in the sin. Filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking other tongues. Amen. And the Lord has equipped you yes, yes. to rest in his presence when you experience trials and tribulations. Just turn around and say, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply rest presence. I'm not going to worry about anything. Yes, yes. I don't care what the diagnosis the doctor gave me yes. or the problem on the job. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rest in his presence. Amen. On the surface, he had a good reason to be afraid. Mm -hmm. Everything seemed to, to be stacked against him. You've been there? However, Moses served a God who had been mightily faithful to his people and knowing that the Lord would 
go into battle with the Israelites gave Moses the courage to press on. The next time you're dealing with an issue, I want you to remind yourself that you're walking around with the presence of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. And He can take care of any situation. Matter of fact, the way the presence of the Lord operates a lot of times, before you even act. Yes. Yes. Right. He already had went before you. Yes. Amen. I remember Brother Rhodes had a battle. Yes. It was a tough battle. Yes. But there was somebody else in that courtroom. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Huh? That's right. There was somebody else in that courtroom. And the Lord revealed the lies <laughs> Amen. that they were telling. Amen. They came back in and tried to give them chicken feed. And the presence of the Lord was with the judge. And the judge said, no, you, you will do better than that. You know what happened, Brother Rose? I was sitting there with the presence of the Lord. And you were sitting there with the presence of the Lord. <laughs> and the presence of the Lord took care of the whole situation. Yes. And Brother Rose walked out there. Mm. Amen. Mm. Yes, yes. I ain't going to tell you the amount. But there was a whole lot of money. When you clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. God's presence can do more than anything that we can do. Because he sees what we cannot see. He knows what the future holds for us. He sees even the minds of people that's trying to come against you. Yes, yes. 
Have you ever been in a situation when somebody was cussing and then turned around to you and said, oh, I'm sorry? Yes. 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 You know what happened? When you walked in the room, the president of God. That's why God called us to holiness. Yes, that's right. Because he's holy. He's holy. And as we began to live for the Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. He changed our character. You know why? We got the, his DNA. All right. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Oh, the presence of the Lord is great. I was driving one day, my pickup truck, coming down 91st, and had this brush on the side, and they had a problem there where vehicles were dropping down. And I went to turn. And my truck went all the way down in the hole. And I didn't have my seatbelt on. But I had somebody in the cab of the truck with me. And somebody told me to put my foot on the gas. And I put my foot on the gas. And that truck came up out of the hole. And that truck stood up straight up just like that. Whoa. And it came right back down. Amen. And the police officer was coming through the light. He couldn't believe what he just saw. Amen. <laughs> He saw me when I dropped in the hole, and he showed me when the Lord broke me up. It was just nothing but the presence of Almighty God. Will you clap your hands up to the Lord? He pulled me over. Surely he thought the truck was damaged <laughs> pretty bad. And he walked around the truck. And he looked, and he looked, and he looked. And he saw one of the below bumpers below was dead. That was the only thing that happened. That vehicle should have been wrecked. But I'm not getting my vehicle. I'm carrying the presence of the Lord with me. And I can rest in his presence. Amen. Turn on the music, gospel music, and start resting in his presence. Start thanking the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want us to take a few moments tonight. Some of us have been facing some difficult things. I want you to come lift up your hands and and uh, I want you to just go ahead and don't think about nothing else, amen, but rest in his presence. Lift up your hand to the Lord and rest in his presence because the Lord is with you. 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 Rest in his presence. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is going to help you. He's going to fight your battles for you. He cried out to Holy Yambaka, rest in his presence, rest in his presence. He cried out to Holy Yambaka, rest in his presence. That's it, rest in his presence. He cried out to Holy Yambaka, Yataba, rest in his presence, rest in his presence. He cried out to Holy Yambaka, he's with you, he wish he's with you. He can do anything. Ha ha, so shall I go for the Yambaka? He's with you. Ha so shut up. He'll fight your battles for you. He can to He give you victory after victory. He can to hold him back. Rest in His presence. When you clap your hands unto the Lord, rest in His presence. Somebody shout the victory right now. Shout the victory right now. Shout the victory right now. That's all the rest of this. Shout the victory right now. Shout it.
now. We take out our program. Shout it now. I got the victory, hallelujah. Shout it now. We take out our program. Come on, shout it now. I got the victory. Somebody look back here and shout it with Sister Mojo real quick. She take out our program. Somebody walk back here and shout the victory with Sister Mojo quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, she got the victory. Heal it. He can't get that back now. Shout the victory. We'll sit the move here right now. Ah, y'all put it over there. Rest in his presence. Rest. Come on. Rest in his presence. Rest in his presence. Rest in his presence. There's healing when you rest in his presence. There's healing when you rest in his presence.